Hey, how you doing there, Novel Commanders? It's Keith Hayden. Wanted to talk real quick about the difference between GPT 3.5, which is the free version of ChatGPT, and GPT 4, which is the paid version, which is more powerful. And I really wanted to record this video to reemphasize that I understand it's an investment. I understand you may be strapped for cash, but when it comes to really getting efficiency and power out of this process, you're really going to want to invest in GPT-4. And this is, and I'm going to show you this real quick with this example. I have this prompt that I'm putting in here. It says, given the following writing prompt, write a single paragraph story. Let me move my screen so you can see the whole thing. A single paragraph story. This is a story about an innocent, should be Anne, an innocent female child soldier, astrocultural officer during wartime, their goal is to organize a series of workshops on financial literacy for teens. And if you're wondering if this sounds a little weird and random, that's because it's from my self-styled military game tech fiction story generator that I made. And that's where I pulled this prompt from. I just wanted a quick prompt so I could show you. Let's generate this quick story in the free version of ChatGPT and see what happens. Oh, here we go. It's starting now with In the Midst. <laughs> in the Midst. In the midst of a brutal interstellar conflict where innocence seemed like a long-forgotten dream, Layla, an unlikely hero, stood as an astrocultural officer and a child soldier. Despite the chaos of wartime, she clung to a different mission, one that reflected her unwavering determination to bring hope to the next generation. With courage in her heart, Layla embarked on a mission to organize a series of workshops on financial literacy for teenagers in the war-torn sectors. In her youthful eyes, she saw the potential for a brighter future even in the darkest of times, and through her workshops, she aimed to empower the youth with knowledge that would not only help them survive, but thrive in, uncertain, in the uncertain cosmos of war. This is a completely untrained ChatGPT, and in a future video, I'm going to show you the difference between this this bs right here and something that actually sounds readable because it's a it's flowery it's too much but that's not the point here the point is to show you the difference with gp3 these difference between these two models now let's go to gpt4 same prompt Okay, so in the midst of a war-torn galaxy where battles rage across the star systems, a young and innocent female child soldier finds herself tasked with an unexpected mission. As, a, as an astro-cultural officer, her role transcends the battlefield. She's charged with nurturing hope and rebuilding the spirits of those caught in the crossfire. Amidst the chaos, she organizes a series of workshops on financial literacy for teens on a devastated planet. Her workshops become a beacon of light, offering not just knowledge, but a sense of normalcy and empowerment. Through her efforts, she teaches these young souls not only how to manage resources, but also instills in them the belief that even in wartime, growth and learning can flourish. Her innocence and determination remind everyone that amidst, oh, that amidst again, destruction, there lies the potential for reconstruction and hope. So, it's hard, it's kind of hard to see the difference between but with 3.5 is a little bit, there's a little bit less of, of a sophistication there. It just kind of does the task and that's it. No more, no less. But with three, with four, there's a little bit more of detail. There's a little bit more richness there. There's still, as we, as you can see, this midst that I really hate amidst you know it this is where it can be really repetitive and that's okay i'm that's i'm going to teach you how to get rid of this so it doesn't do this when you actually want to write but the point is as you give it more prompts and as you give it more detail you're going to want gpt4 to have more to work with we need more raw materials from the ai and that's what really helps us speed us along through the process because if we're getting stuff like this then it's just not worth it you might as well write it by yourself but if you're getting more ideas for how your story can look, then it's going to be a lot easier for you in the long run.